Here we have a 2003 Dodge Sprinter long wheelbase high top 2500 series van. This is a Carfax certified guarantee vehicle with an absolutely perfectly clean history. Clean and clear title in hand, in house, ready to sign over. 26,000 original and documented miles. This is perhaps the lowest mileage Sprinter uh, 03 on the market right now. The current configuration of this vehicle is a nine passenger, uh, I would say non-commercial uh, setup van. It's uh, more of a conversion van. Uh, doesn't have a ton of bells and whistles on the inside. It does have six captain, huge luxury seats, uh, fourth row, back bench row. So nine comfortable uh, passengers, huge layout inside, tons of room. Uh, before the buckets or captain start, ton of room for back cargo space. So, a uh, perfect van for a large family uh, looking for a vacation vehicle. Of course, phenomenal gas mileage uh, in these things. Very easy to drive for being such a large vehicle. Amazing turning radius, uh, 26,000 miles. This thing's like brand new. Uh, it's also uh, a good van for someone looking for a cargo van. Uh, you can easily take all the seats out. They come out uh, very, very easily. You could have all the seats out in 10 minutes. Uh, it's that easy for them to come out. Uh, so you can really make it to whatever you want to. And at 26,000 miles, uh, this thing has an absolute ton of life left in it. Carfax certified, perfect history, clean title. Uh, phenomenal, phenomenal condition. Drives absolutely great going down the road. A lot of the Dodge Sprinters, we used to deal heavily with these years ago when we kind of got away from them because um, they're just not really the type of vehicle that we sell nowadays. Um, but when we dealt with them a lot, a lot of the paints had a lot of issues. Uh, they look okay on pictures and then when you get up to them, they're really ashy feeling, almost like a single stage paint. This particular one has a great gloss to it, a very smooth finish. Uh, it looks better in person than it probably will on this video. Uh, very, very well uh, taken care of. The top, as you see, is in excellent condition. Huge windows. Uh, so just a really, really nice van. Uh, I'll go ahead and scan every body panel just to show you how nice and clean this thing really is. We are shooting this in 1080p, so if you're watching this on YouTube, please make sure to select the HD option while viewing it. I mean, this thing really, really shows amazingly well. I mean, really on this whole uh, driver's side, it's absolutely flawless besides one little area right there that's been touched up. Besides that, there's really absolutely no wear. Uh, to speak of anywhere, uh, even the side uh, paneling going all the way down, the side step molded into the fender flares, uh, even that, as you see, is very, very clean. Front of the vehicle uh, is also exceptionally clean. You got your fog lights on your lower valance there. The lower valance isn't all cracked up. Uh, nice chrome grill. Uh, as you look at the hood, it looks good here. You got two little uh, dings right there. Uh, but besides that, the whole front of the hood is fine. Headlights are very clear. No oxidation or condensation in the headlights. I mean, this thing is just absolutely spotless. Good tires all the way around. Plenty, plenty of tread left on the tire, so no worries there. Side mirrors, as you see, very clean. Uh, windshield, as you see, very clean. The top of the high top doesn't have paint peeling off. Uh, looks very, very nice going all the way down. The only thing to really nitpick this van for, that's not dirt. That's just a clear uh, protector that's got road grime on it. So that can actually come off. Uh, you got a little tiny touch-up area right there. Uh, but as you see, I mean, there's very, very little wear on this vehicle. Um, the only thing to really nitpick on the vehicle, there are two little dings that I showed you. Um, and if you just want to find something, the back windows uh, are in great condition. But the tent is a little bit faded, has little bubbles in it, uh, which we'll be more than happy to take that off. Tent is very hard to get off, so we would have to charge you for that. It's very tedious. Uh, so, But that's really the only thing to nitpick. 
the back bumper as you see uh, it doesn't have that's not a bunch of armor all on the bumper it's just a natural black bumper usually these bumpers turn a grayish white uh, and fade over time uh, so that just goes to show uh, how well this thing's been taken care of and out of the elements of the weather and everything else tail lights are all very clean uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the interior It's absolutely huge in this thing. I mean, you have a ton of room up front uh, before uh, the seating even starts. Uh, carpets are all very clean. Uh, things to note that you can't tell in pictures and video, there's no odors, uh, there's no unusual smells in here, uh, any old stenches or anything like that. So it smells nice in here. Uh, carpets are very clean. Uh, these seats are absolutely so comfortable to sit in a lot of cushioning. They hug you. Uh, we actually took them out. I apologize. But that goes to show you how easy they are to take in and out. You just lift that up right there and it just locks in place. We took those out just to give it a good clean. But super, super comfortable. Big, big chairs, big, thick armrests, a lot of padding in there. And uh, all the materials in excellent condition all the way through. I mean, there is absolutely nowhere anywhere on these seats. All the windows are framed, as you see, uh, with wood. You got your top row of speakers and lights. And over here in the back, I mean, I'm standing up in this thing. Uh, I'm about 5'11", and I'm standing up. I'm not bending down at all. Uh, so that's really, really nice. Huge cargo area back here. It's massive so this thing just has a ton of room kind of an older TV if you want we'll be more than happy to upgrade it we can put probably like a 20 inch plasma in here uh, we can even do a flip down if you're content with that great if not we can upgrade it uh, you do have your CD player uh, and a DVD and VHS so uh, it's got the basics nothing extremely fancy but very comfortable tons of room um, and you know obviously what's gonna sell this is, is low miles in the condition uh, for a sprinter but as you see you can take these chairs right out if you're looking for a nice cargo uh, vehicle uh, you could sell the chairs or keep them but there's a ton of options with this thing uh, and having 26,000 miles it's, it's probably worth uh, doing whatever you want to do with it so we'll go ahead and drive it now to show you guys how well it drives Take a look at this passenger seat, absolutely spotless, nowhere. The dash is very, very, very clean. Carpets are very clean, door panels are very clean. The original uh, windshield in the vehicle, there's no chips uh, that I can see. Nice dark tinted windows all the way around as well. Clean, clean door panels, clean buttons, seats are, I mean, this thing is really like brand new. And with 26,000 miles, it should be. But a lot of times vehicles sit outside and get a lot of wear and everything else, which is not the case. Just super clean dash. Vehicle starts right up, no smoking. Now, I don't have a tag on this, so I'm not going to do our typical 5-10 minute test drives. That's our building right there. Uh, that right there, over there, is the runway to Richmond International Airport. There's a little private jet right there. So there's the back of our building right there. We just got this 30,000 square foot facility, which we're blessed to have. And it's an absolutely awesome location. Uh, there's UPS loading up for the night. So uh, that is a runway right there. It's a Richmond International Airport. Uh, so if you want to fly in to pick this bad boy up, we'll be more than happy to pick you up. Uh, we also ship out about 25 to 30 cars a month. So we'll be more than happy to pick you up. There's FedEx loading up. One amazing thing about these sprinters is the turning radius. Uh, they have a better turning radius than a small import car. Uh, they're absolutely amazing. That's why a lot of companies have them. Uh, you know, a lot of uh, businesses that do a lot of deliveries around town use these. They're phenomenal uh, on gas. Uh, they're very easy to drive in small downtown areas and parking lots and everything else. So, transmission.
transmission's very smooth. Uh, these things really, that was probably about 40% throttle. Uh, these things really get up and go for the size of them. Uh, these little diesel motors are absolutely phenomenal. That light on is just windshield wiper fluid. We will refill that. No check engine lights on of any sort. This vehicle was driven all the way down from Fredericksburg, Virginia uh, to Richmond. Uh, which is about an hour, hour and 10 minute drive. Uh, drove absolutely 100%. Vehicle drives very smooth going down the road. No unusual noises of any sort. Now here's an area right here that I do a lot of test drives and make this U-turn right here. In a lot of vehicles, I have to do a two point turn and look how much room I have left <laughs> just to do that turn. These things just turn on a dime. That right there, that's the millionaire hangar. All of those right there are private jets, uh, private helicopters uh, that a lot of the local wealthier uh, Richmond people have. As you see under full acceleration, there's absolutely no problem with this thing. Don't have too much gas, so I'm not gonna sit here and nail it all day long. But as you see, this thing drives absolutely perfect. There's a good little shot a distance away. Two UPS planes and a, or excuse me, two FedEx and a UPS loading up. So there you have it. If you have any questions about this vehicle, please feel free to contact us at 202-491-9929. Thank you.